Thinking of moving to Oceanside, California, but not sure if it's the right place for you. Curious about what's happening here and are we too far away from San Diego? We're gonna cover all of that in this video. We're gonna hop on the bike, cruise down the boardwalk, show you all of that area, and we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn what it's like to work, eat, sleep, play, live right here in San Diego and beach communities like Oceanside, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you're notified each time we come out with a new video. My name's Jeremiah, the team and I, we're getting calls and emails every day from people just like you and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, weekends, we got your back moving to San Diego. As you can see, we're in the harbor. No surprise, right? In the Oceanside Harbor, the most uh, northern part of both Oceanside and San Diego County. And I wanna talk a lot about location because as I mentioned, a lot of people ask, you know, is Oceanside too far away from San Diego? We're a solid hour. I guess if there's zero traffic, you could, you could probably get there down to downtown San Diego under an hour, but with traffic, hour plus, I mean, we're far away from downtown. So I would say that this area of, you know, Oceanside in general as a city, it's not for everybody. It's, it, it is, uh, you know, it's, when, when I say downtown San Diego, that's also where the airport is. So it's quite a distance for daily commuting. But a lot of my clients that do live and, and, and live here and, um, and have relocated here have often been on purpose because they need to get up to the north. So we're about 30 minutes, uh, 30 to 45 minutes away from uh, major areas of Orange County further north from us. And that would be an ideal location if you still wanna live in San Diego, but you're commuting up to Orange County for work, you're commuting up to San Clemente. So that's where I see a lot of people purposely moving to Oceanside when they want to still stay in San Diego, uh, but you know they don't want to have a, as long of a commute. Um, the harbor itself, well gosh, you can even see Camp Pendleton, that's the Marine Corps base, that's right beyond this harbor here. So we, uh, like I said, we're literally right at the end. Um, I'm gonna walk over here. Oh, this is kind of cool. I tried doing the outrigger. I did it down in San Diego, kicked my butt, couldn't handle it at all. I thought we were gonna ride waves like they do in all those Hawaiian movies. And um, it turns out all you do is frickin' paddle the entire time. There was no brakes whatsoever. And speaking of brakes, let's just hop across the street. Or parking lot. I don't know, it's a massive parking lot here and I'll show you the beach. Up until the pandemic, my uh, wife and I were doing a really cool swim race. Uh, the, the harbor goes out alongside there. And then you can see the jetty right behind me. But it was a cool swim race. It was, let's see, it was 1.2 miles and you would hop out onto the sand, swim out through the waves, try not to lose your goggles and then you're swimming in through the jetty all the way around here and then we would end up at the boat ramp over there um i'm not a great swimmer but it was <laughs> let's just say it was, it was one of those achievements i'm really proud of because uh unlike my wife's family um it, you know i had a hard time getting back and forth across a pool at one point but so we're gonna hop on the bike now and let's, uh, let's head down. I'll turn on the GoPro so you can see some of the footage of what it, what it looks like while we leave this harbor. Um, you're also going to see some of, the, uh, some of the, the shops and some of the restaurants. There aren't as many, it's pretty commercialized. I guess that's where, I, where I'm going with this. It's pretty commercialized with the restaurants that are at the harbor and there's not a ton of them. Most of everything you're gonna do as far as, unless you're gonna play at the beach here, then you're gonna head over to where we're going over by the pier, over by downtown Oceanside. That's where all the action's happening. If you're here at the harbor, you're, you know, 
You're maybe grabbing a cup of coffee or maybe grabbing lunch over at one of the restaurants right over here, but there's not too much to choose from. You're mainly coming here to get on the water. You're getting here to launch your boat, take your boat out, uh, paddle out one of those outriggers, paddle up, a, you know, paddle on a stand-up board, or you're heading right across the street over to the sand and you're going surfing or you're hanging out at the beach with your family. So um, we'll hop on the bike, try not to get hit by any cars because that's our number one rule. <laughs> and, and I'll see you the next stop. All right, we're going the wrong way on the bike lane. So this is gonna be funny if I get pulled over, but I see other people biking. So this is the boardwalk area. Some people cruise this this road just for fun. Some people like these guys are grabbing the the rental group bikes, runners. Uh, you know, this is January at the beach in Oceanside. 70 degrees and uh, you know for winter this isn't half bad. Um, these are some of the most historic little beach cottages. One of the first ones built here I believe it was in the 20s, the early 20s. And if only I could have invested in one of those back when they, <laughs> back when they made them. But as you can see, it's it's not too busy right now. This dude's even have have some surfboards on the back of his bike. But a lot of um, a lot of townhomes right on the strip right here, uh, vacation rentals, and then a lot of people that are taking their townhomes and then turning them into full-time vacation rentals has been a massive common theme, especially during uh, you know the that got escalated during the pandemic. Uh, we'll start to see some more people on the beach as we get closer to the pier. But during the summer, this area is absolutely packed. Where we're going right now, on, on you know, where, where I'm biking right now, is actually part of the running leg of uh, the Ironman Triathlon that I've proudly accomplished a couple times. Barely made it through, didn't set any records, but <laughs> but survived. So parking gets a little crazy down here. It's right here at the base of the pier. There's the Ju Junior Seau Community Center right behind me, and this is where everyone rents their bikes, year-round funnel cakes. <laughs> And we're gonna see if we can get over to the amphitheater. Got the restaurant right under the pier and a bunch of pop-up stands. The coffee one is permanent. But here's our amphitheater. This place is killer. It has shows and live performances and just community events all the time. And then just south of the pier, right here, this is where there's all types, well actually it's, it's both sides of the pier. On the north side of the pier, I've attended uh, body surfing competitions, but there's a ton of surf competitions, whether it's shortboard, longboard, stand up. Um, I've even seen dog surfing right out here. Uh, it, it's a thing, they put them on the longboards. But just a really cool area, picnic tables, you see, you got the swing sets for all the kids. And they're just doing a massive amount of, of, of work from not only downtown, but even on, even on the boardwalk right here. I'm just turning the bike around. You can see some of the work they're doing right behind me, directly behind me. But if you look right up on top of the hill, that's about $180 million hotel projects that were completed during the pandemic and it's really starting to transform this area down here. You know, when I, I was born here in San Diego and Oceanside was always just the military town. It was a town where there weren't um, a lot of people dying to go there. It wasn't as safe of a town. Um, 
I remember my aunt telling my cousin that lived just east of here, you know, she didn't want him over there when it got late at night. So it's, this area has transformed from that. After I moved back, I didn't even recognize it. And in the last you know, two to five years, it's massively changed and just a, just a boatload of money being dumped into it. A ton of restaurants, we'll cruise by over there, but a ton of restaurants, these hotels here, um, I have to show you the historic Top Gun home that they relocated uh, a couple blocks down. But it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a family area now. Um, now, we'll look at a couple of the homes later on and you'll see that, you know, there's not a ton of, there's not a ton of residential that's non-vacation um, west of the freeway here. But I wanna give you an idea of what's going on in this area. So we're gonna cruise down this boardwalk a little more and um, there's a couple little parks I wanna show you there. And try not to fall at the same time. Don't fall, don't get hit by cars. That's the, that's the theme. Yeah, I love to see it so empty right now. Because it is completely busy in the summer through here. There's a bunch of little parks, like the one we're gonna go by here. There's actually so few people Lifeguards aren't even on duty right now. Their main headquarters is down by the pier, but they're not actively monitoring anything because there's so few people out there. So this is one of the main parks that's right on the sand. And it's fun to bring the family down here. My kids are getting a little older, so they're not using the play structures like this. But it's a cool place, you know, for them to kick around the soccer ball, bring the dog out here and hang out on the sand. I jumped up top to this street that overlooks the boardwalk area. So you get a better idea of what some of these gorgeous homes look like here. So many, even though they do, you know, some owner-occupied homes exist on the sand. So much of it is just rented out. Um, and I, not unlike a lot of these as well, but beautiful homes. Um, I'm gonna go to another back street here so you can see what more of the traditional non-luxury uh, level, right, look like and you know, you shouldn't be surprised because of the age of Oceanside um, that, you know, a lot of these homes are built in, in, the, in the 50s, 40s, some of them even in the late 30s. Completely, you know, different style being older, but from, you know, we're used to so many cookie cutter neighborhoods here in San Diego that there's a bit more character in these homes that actually uh, actually have some history to them. And we'll cruise around here. This is a, they're obviously much smaller. Um, these homes have crawl spaces. They have um, alleys, which, which you know none of the other neighborhoods or very few neighborhoods in San Diego do that aren't old enough. So we're over here at the Oceanside Transit Center. Um, really close to the ocean. Here, I'll just pan, o pan over. You know, you're, you're two blocks to the actual water. And this transit center is very unique in that um, there's, you know, there's two real main ones. It's downtown San Diego and it's in Oceanside. And uh, they basically field all the different types of transportation right here in Oceanside, buses, um, uh, aside from the bus system, then they have the Sprinter and the Sprinter heads due east. You have the coaster that is going up and down the coastline. But again, this is the stop. This is, this is the most northern stop. So um, what am I missing? Oh, Amtrak 
will actually start from here in Oceanside and then take you further north into Orange County, LA. And uh, there's a couple of other metros, I think, that come down from LA, but nothing goes beyond Oceanside. Um, aside from, um, you know, any, any distribution type trains, you know, that are, that, that are headed south. But as far as commuting goes, that's one perk of this area in Oceanside because you can shoot out in, in, a, in a multiple directions, which is a kind of a beef of mine with a lot of uh, Southern California or San Diego for that matter, uh, the, the lack of public transportation. Uh, but if you are in Oceanside here, you do have a lot of options. Um, so we are going to head into downtown and let's, uh, let's give you a feel for some more of the restaurants, uh, more of the, the life that's happening down there. Let me go through some more of the residential area, give you an idea of, of some of the homes here. And built in early 50s into the 40s, uh, some even in uh, the 1930s. But uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of history behind these homes and how long they've been here and just more unique than a lot of uh, a lot of homes in San Diego. We're known for our cookie cutter, uh, you know, mass construction. And um, well, I say that, and then you can see where they demoed some of these homes and put up brand new townhomes. So you'll see a real mix throughout this area. Uh, what I do like about this area of Oceanside is the alleys. I dig that all of these homes have access alleys. This is where the garages are at. This is where you put out your trash. And, and with that, you're also gonna see that, uh, if you look, if I tilt my camera up a bit, that all, all the power telephone lines, we have all of those as well. A, a, a good and bad for different communities, depending on what you're looking for. These look like a bunch of vacation rentals. Wow, it's an absolutely gorgeous day down here today. I thought, uh, I thought there'd be some sort of clouds coming in, but um, we actually had the Santa Ana's start blowing um, earlier this morning. Santa Ana's are the, it's, it's basically the hot desert air coming from um, areas like Palm Springs and, and other towns east of here. I wouldn't say, well, it's probably about 70, 72 degrees right now. Um, it's normal that it's sunny, but uh, this is slightly abnormally warm. So I'm enjoying it. Um, you can get a kind of an aerial view of everyone down here that's walking around. You can see the boardwalk that we drove down there. and the pier is starting to get a little packed. And then right behind me, you can see the Top Gun house. This is the house with the red shingles on it, and they relocated it from a couple, um, a couple blocks down, but kind of a cool historical building that everyone talks about. All right, we're gonna head into downtown. We'll cruise by the movie theater. Uh, we'll cruise by the surf museum. Get a, get a feel for some of the smaller shops um, and independent restaurants that are in there. And we'll head down there now. There's a cool path, they even have music playing when you go under the tunnel. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I gotta get off my bike and walk. That's embarrassing. turn the camera around you can kind of see we're walking up to some of the restaurants so we're currently three blocks from the water I don't know if you can see it if I turn my camera um, went through that cool walking bicycle path uh, where it had the overpass where the music's playing. Classical music, I dig it. 
Um, and we're right in the middle of everything, essentially, with restaurants, shops, um, some independent, um, some that uh, you know, some that are franchise, but uh, so much to do around here. Uh, gosh, we got the breweries. We have two behind me, two blocks that way. We have another couple um, just in front of me behind the Regal Cinema. If you want to go see a movie. Um, for those that uh, like to see live, uh, live theater, there's the Star Theater, that's another block and a half down there. We'll bike by there because you gotta check out the mural that uh, my really good buddy Skywalker did there. He's a muralist and he's, it's gonna be a common theme you'll see in these videos because he's done murals all the way down uh, the, the coastline here in San Diego. But, um, you know, right behind the theater is that Oceanside Transit Center. So everything is really walkable from here, whether you're on vacation staying at the hotel or you or you live in this area and you're just coming to play at the beach and uh, you want to walk to the restaurant and then walk down and, uh, you know, get your feet in the sand. So um, as far as bearings on if you are living here and you have kids, uh, we'll do a quick cruise by the Oceanside High School. Uh, that's a little further from here, about uh, about six to eight blocks. And then there's an elementary school south of here. But again, that's, uh, that's a little further. That's probably about a mile down the coastline. Budget-wise, uh, west of the freeway here, homes are gonna set you back, detached homes, that is. The median price is 1.1 million. Obviously, you can find a heck of a lot more home and spend a heck of a lot more money, you know, as you get closer to views and being on the beach. But that's where you're at for detached homes. Um, attached homes, such as condos and townhouses, are gonna be slightly lower, but they're not cheap either. You know, you're still talking uh, 900,000 is the median price on those uh, attached homes. So we're at the corner here at the Civic Center Drive and the Coast Boulevard. And this is the main drive. So this is where, you know, it's not gonna be quiet. <laughs> and and right, right on cue. Right on cue, a motorcycle comes by. But right behind me, the Star Theater. Uh, that's my buddy's artwork right there. He's a muralist named Skywalker here in San Diego. You're gonna see a lot of his work throughout uh, all the beach towns that we go by in San Diego. But this is, this is the main thoroughfare. Uh, right next to me is the Civic Center. Um, this is where City Hall is for Oceanside. We'll cruise right in here. The art museum is right over here as well. And a cool fountain and stairs. So I gotta get off my bike. Right now we're at Oceanside's main city hub for their, uh, their city buildings. We got uh, City Hall. Um, we even have the Oceanside Art Museum right behind here, right by those arches. Cool water found right here. And the public library right behind me here. I know that's a hot item for um, our family. Um, fortunately, our boys are readers, so we're always hitting up the library wherever we're at. And, um, and then, you know, it, it does get a little loud because this is the Coast Boulevard right behind us. This is the main drag. So, you know, there's gonna be motorcycles, there's gonna be, you know, people cruising by, whether or not they are Marines with the big exhausts and that's the feel of this Oceanside area. Um, there's restaurants that open up to it, but um, you know, it's right in the middle of the day, weekends, uh, summer, this is, you know, a loud, active area. 